Hey guys, welcome back to the Nature Lover channel. I am Parshvika. In today's video guys, I'm going to be talking about some ways to protect our environment, to protect our uh, natural beauty, to animals, plants and the birds. I'm going to be talking about some measures that we can do and it's really important to consider because if we don't consider that then it won't be beneficial. So I'm going to be covering how to do that, some important measures and let's get started with that before more part, consider clicking the like button guys, really appreciate that and if you want more videos like that, consider subscribing and if you are a nature lover, environmental lover, then this channel is exactly for you. Okay, let's talk about some important measures which we can do to protect our environment. A human being can do it and we should be doing it because it's our responsibility, it's our duty as a human being to protect our nature, our environment and to do the uh, justice with this environment, with the birds, with the animals that surround us and that makes a part of this beauty, this natural environment. The first very important measure we could do is recycling. Yes. We, instead of just cutting down the trees for more paper or instead of cutting down this natural beauty and polluting them, we can use the products that have already made and recycle, reinvent and try to use them. But one of the most important and common example about this is recycling of the paper. Like I myself being an artist, I started uh, recently only recycling my old college papers and converting them into handmade papers and then I started painting on them. So I think that recycling is an awesome, amazing option. We could recycle a lot many things and we really need to consider that before actually going for new things and new stuff, we need to consider going with the recycling. It can be recycled and you can color it, you can design it, you can all do all those stuff but I think, but I think that Recycling should needs to be considered. So that is the first thing. Protecting our nature, that is kind of like related to the animal and birds, which I personally feel a really, really lot because I feel like uh, we need to understand as a human that we need to be kind to this in nature. This is very important point to be considered as a human being. We need to be kind to our environment. We can't be doing injustice to the animal and plants. Every animal, every plant, every living being that is there on this earth deserves the opportunity to live, to thrive and to have a good life. Okay. Even, and we need to do that justice. Like this space I'm occupying for myself because I am a human being, I'm a living being on this planet so I deserve to be here. The similar thing applies to the other animals as well. Like if I see the small squirrels, the bat, the rat or the cat or any type of animal, they deserve to be on this planet and they deserve to be living, thriving and doing what they want to do. Because we are doing what we want to do, then why can't these animals and then why can't these plants and animals, why we are misusing them and using them for our selfish motives? We really need to think about that. Because I feel that since uh, we are also a living being, they are also a living being. Since we, uh, since they have a voice, but we can't understand their voice. And that's why we think that since they can't speak a language, so we can do anything with them and we can do anyhow, whatever we want to do with that. That's wrong. But we need to change that mentality as a human being to give, to do the justice with every human or every living being on this planet. They deserve to be living. Uh, they deserve to be part of this nature. They deserve to be thriving on this planet Earth. So do the justice, guys. Be kind. Don't be rude. Be kind. I really want to emphasize this thing over here because people are... Nowadays, the people are more kind of like a selfish. They only think about themselves. They only think that, oh, I want this thing. I want that beautiful fur from that bird. So I'm going to kill that bird. I'm going to get that fur from it. No. Like... Think of that, that is a living being, that is a living being, that also feel the pain, that also get hurt. They also have the feelings, even they can't tell you, but they also have the feelings. And they also have the right to live on this planet Earth. You can't take their lives like that. You really need to be kind to them instead of just harming them, instead of just misusing them. So this is the point that we really need to consider as a human being. We need to be kind to this nature. Now, next point I'm going to talk about is that every living being is an important aspect of this planet because there is a food chain. If you 
know about the food chain and food web, then you can very well uh, relate to what I'm talking over here. But I, if you don't know about it, then I'm going to tell you that there is a food chain. Okay, there is a cycle in this universe. And to have this universe working well for every one of them, working well for us, it needs to complete that food chain. If, every, if any single member from that food chain is missing, then the cycle is not completed. And if the cycle is not completed and there is some problem with this universe, there will something will going to bad will going to happen because of that, because that thing is missing from that cycle. So we need to complete that cycle. And every living being is a part of that food chain. And we need to respect that. We need to honor them. We need to be kind towards them. We can't be selfish to them. That's really Another point you want to consider is over, over here, like uh, especially for the people who are meat lovers, who love the meat. I'm not against the non-vegetarians over here, but I really want to talk about as being myself a vegan and a vegetarian, I can talk about that. You really need to think about that if you are a meat lover and if you are a meat eating a meat, then you really need to give a second thought that the meal that has been presented on your table at uh, animal has given his or her life for the sake of you you really need to be grateful for that and for that you could avoid eating meat like you could go with the no meat or less meat but that's really important because if at the present we continue to do the things that we are continuing to, to do that eventually this natural beauty around us would be get polluted. It won't be the same. It won't remain the same. And if it's not remains the same, then how are we going to breathe? How are we going to survive? Like our human existence will be in danger. So think about that. Because of them, we are living. Because of them, we are here. Because of them, we are healthy. If they have something problem going with them because of us, then our life is in danger. So give it a second thought that the meal that has been served on your table, an animal or a bird has given his or her life for that thing. So give it a second thought. You could either avoid meat at all or either you can go with the less meat, whatever suits best for you. Now, this is a controversial topic about non-vegetarian and vegetarian. I don't want to go with that debate over here, but I really want to put that point over here because I feel like it's important for us to consider. But all, it's all your choice. What do you want to do with your life? If you want to continue eating it, then very well, you can go with that. And if you don't want to, then it's your choice. But that's my lookout to share my views through. The last point that I'm going to talk about is plant more trees. According to the data, according to the science, according to the scientist, one plant, one tree, if you are growing for the whole life, that tree can give you enough of oxygen that two human beings can live very well so consider growing more trees because it will going to absorb a lot of carbon dioxide from the environment and will going to give us a fresh oxygen and it can help one tree can help two human beings survive with enough of oxygen for our life so consider planting more trees and that's all wanna, i want to talk in this video guys if you really enjoy this video and you really want to save our environment Consider clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel and do let me know your views and thoughts in the comment section below I would really love to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. See you for the next time. Take care. Bye guys